In this video, I have created three completely random wonder kids, and as you can see, they all have 200 potential. That's Messi level, that's Cristiano Ronaldo level potential. And we're going to see who can win the Ballon d'Or first and who can become the most successful player out of the three wonder kids. And as we have a quick look through them, we've got Wijay Severi, the Fijian who plays for the Central Coast Mariners in Australia. Obviously, he is a striker and they are all strikers. We've also got Scott McKinney, the Scottish-born man who plays at Elgin City in the fourth tier of Scotland, the semi-professional team. And last but not least, we have Jose Manuel Simon, the Argentinian who plays for Institutio in the Argentinian Premier Division. And as you would expect, they all have very similar stats. They are all 60 current ability, made it just so it randomized their stats based off their current ability. They don't choose any of the stats. So that's just how they are. And as you can see, Jose has not had a good start. He is injured for nine days to two weeks. Not a good start for the 14-year-old, but those are the three boys. The next Messi is somewhere here, or it could be all of them. And now it's time to see how their career unfolds, who will leave to where, and who will be a failed wonder kid. Let's hope they all succeed in some regard. Not much has happened, not much has changed. Jose is still injured. <laughs> this time he's out for two to six weeks with a torn thigh muscle. He may be an injury-prone lad. But everyone is still at their original clubs. But I'm not liking the look of Scott McKinney. He's only grown three current ability. That is a little bit concerning. He's only played one non-competitive match this season. He's only managed four cup appearances this season. It's not looking good at all. Obviously, we saw Jose does have an injury, but he hasn't had any others than the two we've seen. In terms of his games so far this season, he's played three games with no goals. And obviously, the seasons are different in South America. So he played three games in the previous season with no goals. But his stats have improved a little bit. He's improved the most out of the three players as he is on 82 current ability. So he's grown at 22 current ability, which is good for a first season. The Fijian, on the other hand, has grown to 70. And it looks like he is a natural right winger now, which is interesting. And he has played a ton of games so far this season. He made 21 appearances with four goals, two assists, with an average rating of 7.22 in the B team before moving up to the first team and playing every single game in their season, scoring only two goals, with the Mariners finishing in ninth, three points out of the playoffs. Also forgot to mention that uh, the Fijian isn't a small lad. He's 188 centimeters tall. Um, he was 185 last season, so he's grown a little bit. He's a big boy, and he probably will get a bit taller by the time he stops growing, which is going to be interesting to see. The other two, on the other hand, Jose's a little bit shorter at 172. Scott McKinney is 179, so he's just shy of six foot. But that's the first season done. Not many changes have happened. Let's see what happens after the second season. And as we have completed our second season, we finally have our first ever transfer. Scott McKinney has left Scotland and joined Sunderland, who unfortunately for them lost the playoff final against Norwich 3-1, so they will stay in the championship. Scott McKinney has moved for 2.2k. He did actually start playing for Elgin City, scoring three goals, getting one man of the match, and getting 7.7 .7 average rating in four games. That's actually incredible. But he's yet to make an appearance for Sunderland, but obviously he's been playing in the academy, no doubt. And he is also capped, as you can see, at under-18 international level for Scotland. But he is still the lowest of the three in the current ability with only 78. But that is a much better improvement than the three he had last season. And now we move on to Jose, who has still basically made no appearances in Argentina for Estaduto. I'm butchering that. Still no professional goals to his name. But he is the highest current ability with 97 now. Another big jump for him. The Fijian is still at the Mariners. And in exactly the same season two goals but only one appearance starting as you can see last season he started all 27 league games this season only started one game with 20 off the bench and that is not good but he still has improved a little bit as well but Jose is the leader but will it stay like that we're going to find out and now after the third season 
No transfer be made, but there will be some in the future. And as you can see, Jose once again having a very good season in terms of growth, reaching 113 current ability. And this season, he did get his first ever goal in professional football, scoring two goals, three assists in his 20 appearances this season. But Jose wants to leave as he wants initially agreed playing time, which is supposed to be regular starter. And he's also made 15 under 20 caps with four under 20 goals, which is good as well. And he started to be accomplished in the right wing role. But look at those stats. They are starting to get a little bit disgusting. But he's asked to leave. So he's looking at moving clubs. Obviously, we've got the Fijian as well, who had a great season by the looks of it. 25 appearances, 4 goals, 7 assists, with an average rating of 7.28 for the Mariners. But they ended up finishing 11th. So... <laughs> He tried his best, I guess. And as you can see, there's a lot of top quality sides that are wanting the Fijian. Well, obviously, the Manchester clubs, Porto, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, and PSG. So it's looking likely we may have two of our three Wonder Kids leaving their original clubs. Scott didn't make any appearances uh, for Sunderland this season, but he did make a ton of appearances in the youth team, scoring 20 goals, which is decent. And as we sim to next season, we will most likely be seeing two players at new clubs. And another season completed. The Fijian has moved to Brighton. Now, I was expecting him, fully 100% expecting him to move to a big club. I'm talking the Liverpools, the Manchester Shires, and Real Madrid. Someone like that. They were all interested in him. And Brighton has won the race. 1.2 million signing. And he did get loaned to Wickham in the second half of the season, where he only made two appearances, which isn't good. And unfortunately, he is only on 102 current ability. And that means the Scottish man, Scott McKinney, has overtaken him in current ability. He has made his first appearance for Sunderland. He gets a goal as well. Still not breaking into the first team as of yet. And now Jose is still wanting to leave. He's wanted by Crystal Palace, an interesting team. But he did make 20 appearances with seven goals, one assist in this Argentinian season. And his stats are starting to look good. Will it be a second season in a row where he wants to leave and is not allowed to? His contract does expire in December, so he has to 100% leave. He's only getting paid £230 per week. It's kind of a ripoff. But Crystal Palace are the only team that want him, so Crystal Palace may be picking up an absolute gem. All right, another season has ended, and as you can see, Jose is in the lead by an absolute mile. 148 current ability compared to the Fijian, 107, and the Scottish man, Scott McKinney, on 114. But Jose did finally make his move, and those are some ridiculous stats, as he did move for three to Leipzig. Now, that has to go down as one of the best free signings in history. It will happen that way. He is going to the very top. He is growing incredibly fast, and he's got seven goals in his first 14 appearances for Leipzig. So he's already basically starting for one of the top clubs in Germany. So he is just going to continue to grow. And for the Fijian, his stats are still pretty the same, <laughs> basically. And he made five appearances in the championship off the bench for Brighton. Not one start. Brighton did finish third in the championship, but unfortunately did not get promoted. So it'll be another season in the championship, which may be good for him as he may get more game time, but his development is incredibly slow. And Scott McKinney got a few games under his belt, nine off the bench for Sunderland, who are in the Premier League, to be fair. So those are some good games to play in. But Sunderland did get relegated on goal difference, so they will be back down in the championship, which again is most likely good for Scott. So that means the Fijian and the Scottish man are going to be in the same division next season. Now, Jose did actually initially make the Argentinian team, but unfortunately he got dropped out for the actual Copa America. He must have made the first squad, but obviously he got trimmed down for the Copa America. So unfortunately he does miss out, which is a shame. And now another season has come to an end, and well, it's not looking good for the Fijian. Again, he has barely grown at all. He's played two games this time for Brighton, even less than last season. He has now been put into the Brighton under-21s. His career is not looking good. He only has one year left on his deal, so potentially Brighton may not re-sign him if he just continues to not develop. It is a little bit disappointing, and he has zero goals so far for Fiji after 15 international appearances. It's just not going well for him. But in terms of Jose, he is on fire. 166 current ability, and look at those stats. This guy is a superstar. He's finally got Argentinian caps. 
with two caps, no goals though so far. But a good full first season at Leipzig, seven goals, three assists, 27 appearances, and it's only going to get better for Jose. He does have a long contract, he still has four years, he has a minimum fee release clause of 100 mil. Leipzig did finish second in the Bundesliga, they actually did win it a few seasons ago. So he is technically in a title challenging team, which is interesting. And for the final player, Scott McKinney, 26 appearances, again it's only one start, so he's not really baked into the first team, but 5 goals, 2 assists isn't too bad, but he is still developing, obviously nowhere near as fast as Jose, but is at least developing. Brighton did in fact get promoted as well as Sunderland, so both of them are going to the Premier League, but I doubt they'll be playing many games, especially the Fijian. But it turns out, the first trophy won in any of their careers, it is Jose who wins the DFB Pokal with Leipzig as they beat Dortmund 3-0 in the final. He did play, but he came off the bench and only got a 6.5. No goals for him in the final or assists. But he is the first person to get a trophy. But as we go into the next season, it is looking likely that we could see the Fijian become a failed wonder kid, which would be very disappointing. Jose is very close to reaching the top. Scott is slowly making his way, but the Fijian and is so far behind he needs to leave he needs to get game time somewhere and let's hope he gets it this season and as the end to another season commences well as you can see jose has moved to real madrid the Argentinian moved for 100 million, which was his release clause, so he did eventually leave for it. He had a great start to the season at Leipzig, 8 goals and 12 appearances in the league, with 5 coming in the Champions League, and then moved to Real Madrid, where he got 8 goals and 17 again, and he is at one of the biggest clubs in world football, and he's bound to win a Champions League now. And his stats are looking incredible, and he still hasn't reached his peak. And this season just got better for him. He scored his first international goal for Argentina against Albania. And they won the Spanish division comfortably by nine points. And as you can see, Real Madrid have had a little bit of dominance <laughs> in La Liga. Winning every single season since we have started this. Unbelievable. Scott McKinney has improved a little bit. Getting a good amount of game time in the Premier League with four starts and 19 appearances off the bench for Sunderland scoring seven goals. Which is actually a good return. And he is improving slightly. Obviously nowhere near Jose's level. But he does have an incredible record in the under-21s for Scotland scoring 21 goals in 35 appearances. But unfortunately our boy... The Fijian, he is just still struggling. He's grown two current ability to 110, and he is just not developing. A lack of games again, only eight appearances off the bench for Brighton this season with one goal, and he may just be a failed wonder kid. They have signed him on an extension for another two years. But will he improve anymore? I'm, I'm concerned. And as you can see, obviously, the current ability-wise, Jose's reached 178, Scott's reached 129, and the Fijian, Severi, 110. And unfortunately, both Brighton and Sunderland did get relegated, so obviously the Fijian and the Scottish man are going to be in the championship next season, unless they leave, which I highly doubt. And now it is World Cup season, and we have two players at the World Cup. The first one is obviously Jose, and with two games played, Argentina have qualified with Jose only playing one game as he started against Poland, but got no goals or assists. Scott McKinney is also at the World Cup as he has got his first international cap, and he has got his first international goal. As Scotland sits second in their group with one game remaining, but McKinney has not made an appearance. And Scotland did finish in third after losing 2-0 to the USA, but apparently they qualify in third. Brilliant. Love these sort of qualifications. I love when the group of four means only one team gets eliminated. Actually brilliant. And Scott McKinney did make his first appearance in the World Cup coming off the bench, but it wasn't enough. But they're into the next round. We'll see how they go, see how far they can make it. So in the round of 32, Argentina play Scotland. I cannot believe it. They're playing each other, potentially Jose versus Scott McKinney for the first time in the history of world football. They will be playing each other if they actually play. This is going to be an interesting thing to watch. And here we are for the World Cup round of 32 match between Argentina and Scotland. Jose is not starting, unfortunately. He is on the bench, the number 11. And neither is McKinney. McKinney, also wearing the number 11, is not starting as well. Maybe we'll see them into the second half. And to absolutely no one's surprise, Argentina have taken the lead against Scotland. 
with Lataru Martinez picking up on the loose ball and putting in the back of the net. That should have been Jose. He should be playing. And would you believe it? It's game on in the World Cup. Scotland have struck. It's Leishman running through the Argentinian defence and slots it home into the side netting. And it's one all. It's half time. It's one all. It's all to play for. They need to bring on the star players. Where are the goats? And Lataro Martinez has struck again as he's played it in for just a tap in. And it's 2-1 to Argentina. McKinney, bring him on. They need a hero. So Jose has come on the field with only 15 minutes remaining. And Argentina have put the game to bed with Echeverri scoring to make it 3-1. And McKinney is up top. Can McKinney turn it round? Probably not. And that's full time, and Jose is in to the round of 16. McKinney gets about a 10-minute cameo, but couldn't do anything. Now, Argentina will be playing England in the round of 16. Let's see how they fare. And Argentina managed to knock out England with a 2-0 victory, and Jose didn't even play a minute. This is a disgrace. And again, it's a 2-0 victory for Argentina. And Jose did play a 7.4. He started that match, but Lautaro Martinez is injured. Is it time for him to start in a semi-final against Brazil? And it's Argentina-Brazil today. And Lautaro Martinez is fit, and Jose has been dropped to the bench. This is a disgrace! And Brazil have taken the lead with a great build-up play and a beautiful goal. And it's 1-0 to Brazil. Bring on Jose, please. He will win the game. And Brazil won a penalty with seven minutes left and Penenka it down the middle from Cunha. And it looks like Argentina are getting knocked out and they deserve it. They've not put him on. Jose is an unused substitute as Lotaro Machines drops a 6.3. It is a disgrace for the manager. Get him gone. Get him gone. And Argentina even lost the third place playoff match with Jose again not playing. Get rid of this manager. That is an actual disgrace. And Belgium ended up, <laughs> look at that masterclass, three shots. And it's a victory for Belgium. And they are the World Cup winners. Another season has been completed. And as you can see, Scott and Severi are struggling. Very small growth this season. And the Fijian is one step closer to being a complete failed wonder kid. But Jose the Saviour, 190 current abilities, nearly at the max. And his stats are disgusting. He's also had a decent campaign. 16 goals and 33 appearances in the league. But he scored 17 goals in Europe this season. That is utterly ridiculous. Scott McKinney, on the other hand, nine goals in six starts in the championship. He can't even get starts in the championship. This is just tragic. Nine goals isn't too bad. But the boys are very. Two goals, one assist, and two league starts for Brighton this season. Wow. He is seriously a failure. I've just got to say it. He's 23 now, and he may be playing in League 2 in no time. So Jose did the double, winning the league by four points. Again, another title for Real Madrid. But also won the Spanish Cup with a 2-1 win over Granoa. Jose tied with the top scorer for the Champions League, but Leipzig ended up winning the Champions League. He leaves Leipzig, and they proceed to win it all. But 17, look at that. Martinelli with 17, Jose with 17, Erling with 16. That is outrageous. 17 is Ronaldo's record, so Jose and Martinelli tied it. That is ridiculous. And Brighton are back into the Premier League, so Severi's back in the Prem, but he's probably not going to be playing much. And Sunderland finished fifth, so the Scottishman is staying in the Championship. Tottenham won the Premier League. Yeah, it's finished. This whole, this save is finished. That's unbelievable. Another season done, and this is just sad. This is sad. Brighton have transfer listed the Fijian Goats, as he again has not grown in the slightest. He played seven games in the Premier League, all off the bench, no goals scored. It has been a disastrous career so far for Severi, but maybe the transfer move could be the way to rejuvenize and maybe reach his potential. But he's translated at 20 mil, and I'm sorry to say, no one's going to pay that. Now, Scott McKinney finally getting some good amount of game time for Sunderland. 13 goals and one assist and 19 championship starts this season, which is very good. Hopefully, he can start to grow a bit quicker now. As Sunderland are staying in the championship after they finished in 10th place. He is on 138 current ability, so he is getting there slowly. But as you can see with current ability, Jose is nearly max. And his stats are ridiculous as always. And he's had a pretty average season. I'm going to have to say 10 goals, 2 assists for someone with 197 current ability who is Ronaldo Messi level. It's been a little bit of a poor season.
So the Euros are on, and our boy Scott McKinney is in the Scottish team. And well, he did score his first ever international tournament goal against Turkey, as they do make it through, and they have to play England in the next round. And well, funnily enough, Scott McKinney is getting interest from Premier League clubs, and well, Southampton have offered 27 million plus something for Scott McKinney's services. He may be moving to the Premier, he may be moving to the Saints. And unfortunately, Scott McKinney is going home after England thrashed them 4-0 and also the Southampton bid fell through so unfortunately he is not going to the Saints but there is still some clubs who are interested and apparently Rotherham are in the Premier League uh, <laughs> how'd they manage that and now the Cop America was on and somehow Argentina have lost to the USA and have been knocked out in the semi-final of the Copa America. So we're still waiting for someone to win an international tournament. And we're waiting another two years at minimum. And another season has completed. And surprisingly, Scott McKinney has stayed at Sunderland and he's grown a good amount. And that is a fantastic season in the championship. 22 goals, 7 assists and 39 appearances, which is brilliant. But Sunderland still didn't get promoted as they lost in the playoffs. Will he stay again? He got the top score in the league, which is a positive. He is wanted by Villa and Southampton, who obviously had an offer rejected last season. But he has hit 153 current ability, which is brilliant. Jose has reached 199 current ability. He is nearly at the max. 21 goals, 9 assists in 45 matches this season. Not a bad return, but still not as much as I thought he would have. And Real Madrid continue their dominance, and it's just ridiculous. They've won basically everything. They went invincible! What?! 110 points, only drawing twice, and that was a both games against Barcelona. What the hell is going on here? They've broken the points record, an invincible season. What a season from Real Madrid. And Manchester City bet Tottenham in the Champions League, so no Champions League for Real Madrid. But domestically, they are unbeatable. And now let's talk about our failed wonder kid, Severi. He is on loan from Brighton in the MLS. At least he's getting game time. Like, that's the positive, I guess. I expected him to be leaving the club in some regard. He did get a contract extension, so he does still have one more year in the books of Brighton. And there is an optional future fee for Cincinnati, so potentially he may leave. But he's had one assist so far in 11 games, which isn't bad. And Cincinnati, they've played 17 games so far this season, so he's He's played a good amount of games. But let's just hope he can grow a little bit more. He's got a little bit more current ability. Let's just hope that by next season, he can grow a little bit more and hopefully can recover his career in some regard. All right, another season done. And Jose has reached 200 current ability and he has moved to Liverpool for 200 and 31 million, that is a ridiculous fee. But he is basically messy, well, messy in numbers in terms of current ability, not messy in numbers in terms of stats. 13 goals and two assists in the Premier League isn't exactly that great. 23 goals and six assists and 46 appearances a season. 230 mil, that is just ridiculous. But the stats don't lie, he is unbelievable. He has played a big chunk of games on the wing, which is incredibly stupid. Scott McKinney has moved to Aston Villa for 39 million after they got promoted and he got 16 goals in the Premier League. That's not bloody bad. He got the second top goals in the league. Hold on. Let's have a look at this guy. Marcus scored 18 goals in the Premier League. Top scorer as Ipswich got 32 points and relegated. All right. Jabby Alonso's the Aston Villa manager, if you wanted to know, has moved to West Ham. This guy just doesn't want to progress in his career. He's had enough. He said, no, nah, give up, mate. Two appearances off the bench this season, two appearances internationally for Fiji. It's just not good enough. How are you supposed to develop? He's getting paid 52000 a week to play two games off the bench for West Ham. That is unbelievable. I just don't get it. He's finished. He's absolutely finished. We have an absolute failed wonder kid here. It is just dreadful. He's only got 125 current ability. He did increase about six or seven off memory, which is acceptable, I guess, but Jesus Christ. And now it is World Cup season and Argentina just squeezed past their group, making it to the round of 32. Scotland comfortably qualifies. They finish second in their group as Scotland will play Turkey and Argentina will play Mexico. Will Scotland make it further than the round of 32 and will Argentina this time lift it all? 
Argentina made it into the next round after beating Mexico 1-0 with Jose scoring to send them through. But unfortunately for Scotland, they have been knocked out. McKinney did not get a goal or an assist. They lost on penalties. But how many bloody penalties is that? So Turkey won 16-15 on penalties. Uh, that's actually ridiculous. And unfortunately, Argentina's World Cup has been ended by Denmark on penalties. Jose did what he could with a goal and an assist, but it wasn't enough as they lose on penalties. So both of them are going home on penalties. And what a script this is. Jose leaves Real Madrid and beats them in the Champions League final for Liverpool as he assists the first goal. Unbelievable. And he is the first player out of our three wonder kids to win the Champions League. But now it's time to go again. And at this point, I'm just sort of waiting for Jose to win the Ballon d'Or, really, because McKinney's getting there slowly. I mean, Severi's got absolutely no chance. If he wins the Ballon d'Or, I would be absolutely shocked. This guy's nearly 27. I mean, Jesus Christ. Well, Severi, yeah, career's going down the drain because now he's transfer listed again as West Ham don't see a future with him as he made two appearances yet again the same as last year having having minimal impact that is an understatement he has interest from Bournemouth and Stoke but I think Severi we're just gonna accept mate you have failed with your 200 potential you have failed as a wonder kid and it is unfortunate Scott McKinney is getting closer, 171 current ability and his stats are starting to look good. Another great season in the Premier League for Aston Villa, 18 goals, 3 assists and 37 appearances. But unfortunately he didn't win the top scorer, didn't get in the top 3. As you can see, Jose won the highest average rating. But he is wanted by Arsenal, Chelsea and PSG so he could be moving to a big club in the Premier League or France. And Jose, obviously the GOAT on 600k a week at Liverpool. And that is a better season. 19 goals, 10 assists in 39 games. It looks like he had a few injuries this season, which more than a... He had, a, he had more than a few injuries, to be fair. He had four different injuries. He had a broken nose, twisted ankle, sprained ankle ligaments, and pulled knee ligaments all this season, all within two months of each other. So he had a really rough two months. That's why his stats are a little bit lower. And he did win the English Footballer of the Year, the English Players Player of the Year as well, which is pretty impressive, but yet to get the Ballon d'Or. And well, Severi did end up getting his move after the next season. He was loaned to Sunderland, but will be signed permanently to Sunderland as well. And he actually played a good amount of games off the bench. I got excited. I thought he was starting games in the Premier League, but no, he played 31 off the bench. Unbelievable. Five goals, one assist isn't too bad. And Sunderland did stay up, so they're not going to be playing championship football. And he didn't really grow any overall. <laughs> He's cooked. He's finished. It's as simple as that. Scott McKinney, another good season in the Premier League. 18 goals and 37 appearances. Jose, ooh, what's happening here? Only 25 appearances in the league. Is it more injuries? Oh my god, Jose, what's happened? He's fractured his lower leg. He twisted his ankle. Wow, okay, this is not good. He's starting to become injury prone. I have a slight feeling that that is the case. He's going to struggle to win the Ballon d'Or if he keeps getting injured because these seasons aren't good enough for a Ballon d'Or. His average rating is there. He is getting a decent amount of goals and assists, but consistent injuries are going to hinder that. His price actually went up to 264 million as the add-ons were completed. That is a massive fee. So I actually had to search this up. The World Golden Ball is the Ballon d'Or, not the World Player of the Year or the Football of the Year, which I thought it would have been. And Jose did finish second for the season, even though he was out injured for about three months, which is pretty impressive. Maybe next season, an injury-free season, and Jose may just do it. And the disappointment continues. Severetti has been translisted again. <laughs> oh, no. He played 13 games all off the bench this season after signing permanently for Sunderland for 5 mil. And it looks like his seasons just continue to get worse. Where will he go next? <laughs> I mean, he definitely can't reach his potential now. He is 29. Scott McKinney, another good season, 15 goals. Jose having a good season, 15 goals, 6 assists in the 30 Premier League games. But 27 goals, 11 assists in the 45 games total. And well, there's a good chance he may just do it. He may just win the Ballon d'Or as he did win the World Player of the Year and the Football Player of the Year. Next up is the World Golden Ball, which is announced in October. So we will sim to October to see if finally someone is going to win the Ballon d'Or.
And one thing I forgot to mention, Copa America champions were Argentina with Jose scoring two. And Argentina went 3-0 in the final to lift the Copa America. So Jose basically is just the GOAT. <laughs> Simple as that. He has achieved everything. And the last thing he needs to achieve is winning the Ballon d'Or. It is absolute heartbreak. Jose gets second in the Ballon d'Or with Juan from Real Madrid, the young striker with 36 goals and 10 assists in 47 games. was actually very impressive. Beating Jose. Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. The 28-year-old, he's getting old now. Hopefully next year he can take the crown. They are starting to become quite old. Severi hitting 30 years old and yet... Still can't start any bloody games. Oh my god, this guy's career is actually tragic. He's transferred is still. Cardiff and Swansea won him in the championship, but he has failed miserably. Scott McKinney has had a fantastic season in the Premier League for Aston Villa. 21 goals, 4 assists and 35 appearances. And 30 goals and 9 assists and 43 starts for this season. Incredible, incredible stats. And he is 178 current ability, so he is very close to reaching a potential, but I don't think he will. He's a bit old now. Jose with his best season ever. 19 goals, 13 assists in the league with 25 goals and 19 assists in all competitions. He won the English Football of the Year. He won English Players Player of the Year. And they are Premier League champions by beating Manchester City by two points. Something did get relegated. So maybe Severetti can get some game time at the championship. Maybe. Who knows? Scott McKinney getting top scorer. Jose getting third top scorer. And I'm thinking that season is bloody good from Jose. So maybe this time a Ballon d'Or is on the way. Hopefully. So the World Cup came around and Argentina got knocked down the round of 16 against Turkey and Scotland got knocked out against Brazil. I mean, that's a decent performance looking at the stats. I mean, they had a decent chance, but it is Brazil. And Scott McKinney was an unused sub. All right, they don't deserve to go for it. That, that's a disgrace. This is unbelievable. He's got second again. Second again in the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> I feel bad for him now. Two years running, two second places. Daniel Lewis, the Englishman from Leicester, has outdone him. And I am distraught. Now, as they all reach their 30s, obviously, Severi is finished. I mean, he's 31, still can't even play for the Sunderland team in the championship. He's cooked, he's finished. Just retire, Severi. You failed miserably as a wonder kid. He's already lost current ability, so that's brilliant. Scott McKinney, another decent season in the Premier League. I know he wanted to leave. Doesn't look like he wants to leave anymore, but oh, look at that. 42 goals and 74 international caps is interesting. Jose with 22 goals, 5 assists, but with 30. 32 goals and 14 assists and 53 appearances this season. Please, Jose, is this the year to win the Ballon d'Or? Because, God, someone's got to win it. And I'm sorry, Severi is not going to win it. Scott is not going to win it as well. You have to for the culture. And unfortunately, he's not even in the top three in the Ballon d'Or. And I have a feeling not any of them are going to win one. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. So now what we're going to do is going to sim to retirement and see if maybe they can can pull out a Ballon d'Or somewhere. Well, Jose can pull out a Ballon d'Or somewhere. This is really the spot. I was certain someone would win it. He is now a free agent after leaving Sunderland, and he's wanted by League Two and League One clubs. It's a sad end to a story. Well, in reality, it's a sad story just start to finish. Scott McKinney, I think, has decided basically just to be at Villa for the rest of his career, which is fine. And Jose, no doubt, will stay at Liverpool for the rest of a great start to a season. Maybe a Ballon d'Or, potentially. But he has already gone down his 200 current ability, which is a shame. But we're just going to sim until they all retire and hope Jose could maybe get a Ballon d'Or. And well, a few years later, you can see our shortlist for the players is empty, which means all three of them have officially retired. And now we're going to check just how they finish their careers. And starting off with Jose, the guy who was the closest to winning the Ballon d'Or. He finished his career at Liverpool. He was there for 12 years, scoring 211 goals, which is pretty impressive. But yet again, did not manage to win any Ballon d'Ors. He won a lot of titles, though. As you can see, he won, what, 26 trophies, and he won 19 awards, which is pretty impressive. And unfortunately, he did not win the Ballon d'Or, which is a shame. 
Now, Scott McKinney, on the other hand, moved to Atletico Madrid. I do believe he moved for about 30-odd million when he was 32, 33. And he retired at Atletico Madrid after scoring 23 goals for them. And if you look at his career milestones, they're a lot lower than, obviously, Jose's was. Two titles for a team and two individual awards. But he did have a good Scottish career with 79 goals and 126 appearances, which is pretty impressive. And he may just be one of their leading all-time scorers. And now the last man to vary the Fijian and well, what a disappointing career he has had. He finished his career at Maidstone. He actually went a whole year in 2039-2040 with no team, no team wanted to sign him. He eventually went to the National League with Maidstone. Got a good amount of goals, good amount of game time, but at the end of the day, his career was a failure. He made 294 appearances with 51 goals and 15 assists with only 9 player of the matches in nearly 300 games. And I've done the math because Severi did spend a lot of time off the bench. And believe it or not, out of his 294 appearances, 57% were from the bench. He didn't even start over 50% of his appearances. 169 games he came off the bench. These are all just the league totals. 169 games he came off the bench out of 294 total senior appearances. I mean, he didn't get the game time needed, and that's what I'm saying. Too many appearances off the bench, not enough starting game time, and it completely and utterly cost his career. He came out of Fiji. He was the chosen one. He was supposed to lift the country from the darkness, be the light in football, and start the new generation, and he failed completely. He may go down as one of Fiji's best ever players, but he will not be remembered in world football. And now that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts, whether you liked it or didn't like it. I plan on doing a lot more than just these type of videos, a lot of FM stuff coming up. And it's a little bit sad. I mean, the goal was to win the Ballon d'Or. Not one of them won the Ballon d'Or, but it is what it is. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next video.